Hello my dear friends how are you all this is Aishwarya and welcome to my channel so today we are going to make this pretty uh, peeling earring that i have made in the combination of peeling paper pearl beads uh, golden beads and mirror and they are looking so nice and they are very easy to make and also though they are big they are very easy to carry for the whole day and they are very lightweight so i hope that you will enjoy the tutorial till the end and will uh, definitely try to make this earrings at home if you like this video do give the thumbs up if you are new here on my channel i request you to subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification so that we can meet on a regular basis to make such amazing jewelry making tutorials like this in the future and now without wasting time let's get started so the material required is 5 mm quilling strips i am taking this green color then these are uh, 5 m 3 mm uh, golden beads then pearl beads chain mirror filling needle earring stud fabric coil cutter scissor plier then jump rings cutting edge wire so first of all we will make the jhumka out of this so for that i am taking this five strips and uh, we have to make a very long strip by joining them to each other so we will take the favicol and we will add, add the glue to the end of this, each strip and uh, we just add a little bit of glue and then uh, stick the another one so in the same way i'm gonna stick all this uh, all these strips uh, of quilling to each other and we'll make a very long bead so i'll quickly do that so guys you can see we have attached this and now i'm taking the one end and we'll do, take the quilling needle and we'll insert it little in this uh, gap over there and then we will start uh, making it out of it to make a bead, big bead out of this to make the jhumka. So you have to be very careful if you are a beginner while uh, making this round because it will come out. So now this has done and now I will carefully bring it out and then where the where the there is end I will add again attach it with the help of favicol. The favicol works best to make the paper craft or any paper related thing now i'll simply gently push it so i have uh, now habit of using the making the quilling jewelry that's why i'm just pushing it uh, through my hands but if you are a beginner i'll ask you to take the zumka mold and uh, make the shape so that they will come in proper round so you can see i have made a zumka shape now we'll take a favicol and we'll add a glue, glue to inside of this so that the the squaring strips will uh, stay, uh, stay to each other like this and also we will add this glue to the upper side so that it will have a good amount of shine on a uh, good amount of shine on uh, this jonka so you can uh, so you can if you want you can add more glue so now you can see I have added this and uh, we'll keep it for uh, drying for a while and then we'll start with the further work. So now this has dried up and uh, we're gonna add the golden beads to this up to the edges. So for that I'll add the favicol glue here and uh, and then we'll add the add this uh, a 3 mm uh, golden bead chain so uh, I'll always prefer to add one by one because some people just simply uh, put this one in the in the beads in its beads and they just move around and the beads get stuck but I don't like because the finishing doesn't come good so for that I like I prefer to apply it one by one so that it will get attached very properly so I'll quickly do this So you can see we have attached this and this is how it is looking. We will keep this for a while to get dry and meanwhile we will make 
our round so for that again i'm taking one two uh, quilling strips and i have already attached them to each other and with the help of quilling needle i'm gonna make a big bead out of it so i'll quickly do the big bead and then once it gets done we are gonna uh, stick them with the help of fabricol so now at the end again i'll apply the glue and so we are gonna make a flower out of this so uh, so first we'll stick this part and now i don't want that uh, these quilling strips will come out so for that i'll apply the fabricol uh, on the front area so i'll apply the ample amount of fabricol because we also have to attach the mirror to it so i'll apply the glue and i'll spread it evenly to all these uh, quilling strips and then i'm gonna keep it down and uh, will add a mirror on this if you have any other a charm you can add any uh, a charm also so apply the glue to the mirror and we'll keep the simply keep the mirror and we'll wait for a while to get this dry and so now meanwhile we will also uh, so this has dried up and now we are going to attach this pearl bead chain to this so Again to this edges of this, I'm gonna add the glue in the in a way I added to the junka, and uh, and then uh, I'll keep this uh, bit down only, and uh, we'll apply the glue in this way. So my hack to. Uh, have the pearl bead on the front side is that I always uh, keep the bead up front and then we'll apply the uh, this bead chain so that it comes on the, on the front side like this now again we'll wait for a while to get this dry and then we'll start with the further work so as uh, this has dried up we'll add one more round of peeling tapes to this so I will apply the glue to this uh, uh, pearls and we will apply very ample amount in very big quantity so that uh, so that it will so that it will get stuck properly so now I have attached this and uh, I'm taking this cloth strip and we'll keep it very carefully and we'll go on down it so this is a kind of uh, tricky work but once you learn it you will enjoy this process so i'm gonna make the rounds 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 out of this to make a kind of like border shape so i'll quickly do that and you have to be very patient while making this because it does takes time so you can see i have done this and and then we'll sting the last part and this is how it looks now we are going to attach the petals to it so to the outer side so for that i'm taking this one quilling strip and uh, with the help of needle we'll make a big bead the way we did earlier so always make sure that you will uh, leave little strips first to have a firm grip so you can see uh, we have done the bead and we'll uh, attach it to the last end and now and now we'll attach the glue and we'll pinch it a little to make a shape like this now to this uh, this is the uh, this, this is our petal to this side the curvy side i'll apply the little glue and then we'll immediately stick it over here so in the same way we have to cover it to the all to make it a flower so let's do it one by one Yes, it is how our flower is ready. Now we are gonna make a stud out of it. So this has been dried up, and now I'll flip it down. And then I'm taking this stud and one round that I have already cut it to make a base stronger. And we'll add this stud in that round, and then we'll take a glue 
आणि आपल्या दा ग्लोबोस इयरिंग अनदर स्टोर पेपर आणि आपल्या दा अँपलम दो ग्लोबोस साइड्स अँड ऑल इट्स एरिया सो दॅट आवर स्टर्ड बेस विल रिमेन स्ट्रॉंग अँड देन वी स्टिक इट नाउ वी वेट फॉर अ व्हाइल टू मेक दिस ट्राय अँड देन वी स्टार्ट विथ अवर फॉर द वर्क सो दिस इज सो यू कॅन सी दिस इज ड्राइड अप अँड अवर वन बेस इज रेडी सो इन द सेम वे आय हॅव मेड अनदर वन इट जस्ट दॅट यू हॅव टू ॲड सम पर्ल्स गोल्डन बेस टू इट रादर दॅन दिस पेटल्स अँड देन इज अवर झुमका ना वील अटॅच इज थ्री थ्री टुगेदर फॉर दॅट आय एम टेकिंग दिस थर्टी केज वायर अँड वील अप्लाय एनी बेट टू दिस सो फर्स्ट आय अटॅच अ बेट टू दिस इन दिस वायर अँड देन वील टेक दिस वायर ऑन दिस झुमका सो यू कॅन सी हॅव अटॅच दिस्ट अँड देन वील ॲड दिस वायर फ्रॉम दिस होल फ्रॉम इन साईड होल टू द आउट साईड you have to be very careful and then i'm taking one jhumka cap so you can there are lots of jhumka cap available in the market you can take any then i'll add this jhumka cap and on this i'm going to add one 5 mm golden bead to enhance it look so i'll add the 5 mm golden bead to and then i'll take the middle circle and in this middle circle we insert our this wire somewhere in the gap and uh, then do and you have to be very careful otherwise the bead will come out so we'll make two three rounds and we'll attach it properly now i'm gonna take this to the uh, first one so again I'm, i will attach it with the help of 30 gauge wire for that i'll insert this 30 gauge wire here and we'll make a knot and then we'll take this flower third and uh, we'll insert it in sorry first again we'll add the golden bead and uh, once it look and then in this any petal we're gonna add the wire and we'll wrap it properly Oh yeah, you have to be very careful while making. So we have wrapped it and uh, now we will cut this one. Cut the extra part. Yeah, with this so earrings are ready. Ta-da! And that's about another one. So our earrings are finally ready. Aren't they very pretty and very easy to make? So... do make this earrings and do make this another color like red yellow green white black and let me know how was your experience while making it thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you soon in the next video till then this is aishwarya signing off